Good day everyone and welcome to another beautiful video on my channel. In this video we are going to visit one of the iconic places in Australia. It is called as the Busselton Jetty, the longest jetty in the southern hemisphere and an underwater observatory centre at the end of it. Busselton is a small coastal town located nearly 220 kilometres southwest of Perth city. We went there on a road trip, visited the beach, jetty and the observatory and also enjoyed a train ride on our way back. This video is going to be all about it and if you haven't subscribed to our channel make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon to watch more videos like this. Now without further delay let's start the video. We left from Perth early in the morning and after a couple of hours of drive we reached the Busselton Beach. At the front there was a visitor centre where you can enquire and know about the activities to do in that place and I also saw a big old shed called as Shelter Brewing Co. It is a bar and restaurant in Busselton. We started walking towards the beach and after some time we reached the starting point of the jetty. The Busselton beach looked very clean and beautiful. There were few people enjoying the beach and some swimming in the allocated swimming area. There was also a train operating between the ticket center and the underwater observatory for the people who are going to the observatory at the end of the jetty. The kids playing area at the beach looked so creative and attractive. There was a wrecked ship-like structure constructed especially for the kids to climb and play over it. There were also showers installed in a structure which looked like whale's tail. The whole place is very nice picnic spot to come and enjoy with your family and friends. After some time of exploring the beach, we have decided to go to the observatory and purchase the entry tickets. But unfortunately, we couldn't hop on the train to go there as the one-way train service from ticket center to the observatory was terminated. So, we started walking towards the observatory located at the end of the jetty. The Busselton Jetty is one of the most recognizable icons in Western Australia. It currently stands at 1.8 km in length, extending over the protected Geograph Bay, making it the longest wooden piled jetty in the Southern Hemisphere. It was first constructed in 1865 and the first jetty constructed was just 161 meters. Then in 1875, it was extended further by 131 meters. Further extensions were made throughout the following 150 years, creating the remarkable 1.8 kilometer length. It is being very welcoming tourist spot and on my walk towards the end, I saw some people doing fishing, some jumping off into the ocean, some doing paddling and some enjoying board rides. On my way, I also saw the train operating in the jetty 
coming back from the observatory center to the ticket center. It is a small cube train traveling very slow on the deck. After a long walk, I reached the bowel platform at the end of the jetty. The underwater observatory was located next to the platform and we went inside to see the marine life under the sea. When you enter the underwater observatory, you can find its historical details on the walls. It was built in 2002 in a place called Henderson in Fremantle and it was brought to Basilton floating in the sea. There were some photos and more details available on the internal walls of the observatory. You can also see some details about the Basilton jetty which we already spoke about on this video. It is said that this underwater observatory center is 12 meter deep, 9 meter wide and built of 30 centimeter wide strong reinforced concrete walls. It was also mentioned that it weighs nearly 550 tons. This observatory got five levels and we started looking around from the bottom most level. There were thick glass windows installed around the observatory center and I could be able to see the bottom of the sea, sea corals and plants and some fishes through the windows. There was also an LED screen at the fifth level on which the sea creatures we could observe through the windows were displayed. I could be able to spot few different kinds of small fishes through the window but compared to the amount of fishes shown on the TV screen it was very less and it was a little bit disappointing as we couldn't find that many fishes in that observatory. Maybe it was a rough day and the fishes were hiding somewhere. I also noticed that the observatory had very solid steel columns and there were a lot of corals and small marine plants grown on them. There were also very small, colorful and beautiful fishes swimming around, but not that many. When you climb up the stairs to the next levels, you can see different features, pictures and details on each level. There are also windows on each level. Level 2 is the sea surface and we could see some fishes playing with the waves. My experience of visiting that observatory was average as we couldn't see that much inside. Anyway, after finishing the tour around the observatory, we came outside and waited for the train to return back to the shore. As it was a day before Christmas, they closed everything early and that was the last train ride on the jetty. The train ride was so slow, I enjoyed watching the ocean during the ride and the commentary in the train about the jetty and the observatory center. Overall, visiting the Busselton jetty and the observatory was another memorable journey. With that being said, we are coming to the end of this video. I hope you guys would have enjoyed this video and if you did so, leave a thumbs up on this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video and I will see you all in another beautiful episode. Cheers and take care. Let's go.